Colombia, it's an Andean uh, region country. Uh, it, is, it has both a Pacific and Atlantic coast, uh, which is the only country in Latin America that has it. We have 44 million inhabitants with a capital which is Borota. Uh, and it is a country uh, with a vast uh, community of different ethnic groups, uh, Indians, Afro-Americans, uh, and as well, uh, colonos, uh, as we call it, um, and uh, Colombia as well is a country which has been on an ongoing uh, internal conflict which has given us a lot of problems as humanitarian uh, issues are addressed as well as we are working on peace building uh, measures but as well it is a very atypical uh, country because we have uh, this, uh, these problems of violence, uh, ongoing violence but uh, we also have a very positive agenda where we have throughout the years uh, built not only peace but prosperity. Uh, we are a country which is very unequal uh, in the distribution of wealth. This is also a point uh, addressed uh, in many development issues. Uh, and we as well uh, have large partnerships uh, with the United States of America, but also with Europe and within uh, the Latin American and Caribbean context. <music> Eight uh, started in Colombia around the uh, 1960s, uh, and it was the first country uh, in Latin America who actually received international aid. Uh, from there on, we have grown to an agenda which was a lot of uh, based on narcotics, uh, now to an agenda of uh, public, uh, general public goods, uh, which are environment uh, issues where we have water sanitation uh, issues and we have the major donors are the United States of America, uh, the European Commission and the Spaniards which are around 85 percent of the aid which we receive in Colombia and uh, as well we have from the last uh, 10 years but especially the last five we have started uh, to build on strategies on South-South cooperation where we have uh, partnerships with Caribbean countries and with Mesoamerica, which is Mexico and Central American countries, which were we started uh, already on South-South cooperation models, on infrastructure, uh, on models of good governance uh, and as well on security issues. Um, there we have a lot of uh, aid or at least cooperation uh, going on within the country uh, and the region and as well we have uh, on the aid architecture side very importantly to say uh, that we have an involvement uh, of all major uh, European uh, donors are in the country. We have the largest uh, amount uh, of UN agencies, which are right now uh, 23 uh, agencies who are in the country. Uh, there's no other country in Latin America that has so much uh, presence of the international community, such as Colombia does. <music> The Paris Declaration is important. It gives us guidelines, it gives us a roadmap uh, where we can uh, have challenging questions. Uh, and what we have seen uh, in the Paris Declaration, Colombia signed it in 2007, uh, is that we have a lot of incentives uh, which are taken very seriously by the national government uh, and by the donors as well. But the major challenges that we see at this moment, it's A, we have to have an implementation which is gradual at the national and sub-national level. We see that there is still a lack of capacity at the sub-national level uh, to implement uh, the principles and to have a different view about aid. We still have some actors who believe aid is only about money uh, and we're going towards more uh, interesting uh, technical cooperation, South-South cooperation. Uh, we have a lot of lack of information on the donor side especially, uh, where we don't have information, what they're actually doing on the field, and the information that we have, uh, it's not very consistent, uh, and there we have to work uh, on the information asymmetries. Uh, and as well, I believe one of the major challenges uh, that we have in front of us is the role of middle-income countries in the aid architecture. Uh, that's a point which has been addressed in Accra, uh, a point where Colombia has been very active, uh, but where we still see that the international community doesn't have a real framework uh, to handle middle-income countries such as Colombia. And the middle-income countries at this moment, which is our other major challenge, uh, have 
a large amount of poverty um, and this is something we have to address and we have to be more effective uh, if aid wants to work towards those populations uh, and especially vulnerable um, the vulnerable population uh, and that's something we are working on at this moment.